hi Aries welcome back welcome back to the channel it's always a blessing to have you here today's reading is all about you you know you're a diamond please go ahead and shine beautiful and bright like a diamond also please make a friend and known honey that if this reading does not resonate to your situation please do not get hurt hurt offended or in your feelings it only simply means here that the reading today is not for you okay However, uh, if you choose to come back another day, that one just might be. Also, if it's your first time here and you're not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and turn your post notification on so that you will always be the first to be notified each and every single time that I do upload brand new contents. Also, please give the videos a thumbs up for me because once you thumbs up the videos, YouTube is that you like the videos and they will push those videos out into a much wider audience. The channel will grow. The video will also grow. For all my returning seekers, know that I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for all the love and for all the support that you show each and every single day. I do see the love, y'all. And believe me, the love is not going unnoticed. Okay, y'all. Please make a friendly note that the card has been shuffled and the card has been blessed. But before I get into your reading, a prayer is a must. I do pray here on this channel. I'm going to get into a quick pray and then, of course, I'll jump right on into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I said you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and I do give you all the praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, before I get into the reading, I read my comments section like I always do. I do read my comments, y'all. Um, sometimes I try not to read it because it does take away from the energy. All right? Because some of the... Some of the comments can be very, very, very rude. Um, someone was being very disrespectful, disrespectful again in the comment section, all right? Um, when people are not talking about the, the sound of my um, my battery, the, the fire, what do you call it? The, put it this way. My my, a lot, my sensor that triggers when your smoke detector needs to be changed, the battery's out. My house is a, what do you call it? A, I, mean, I have Kotoro ceilings in my home. My, my, my ceilings is ex extremely high above me, okay? Um, it's not low. It's very high in all the rooms. Um, whenever my battery needs changing, there's nothing that I could do to change it. I have to call in... Um, the HOA to come in and change the battery for me. They have the ladder that takes them all the way up to the top so they could um, change the battery. There's nothing that I can do. I cannot change it, okay? Stop focusing on these damn noise and sounds in my background. Some of you have a problem with my daughter's house with the air conditioner coming on. Some of you have a problem with the sound of the alarm system. Some of you have a problem with a dog in the background. Some of you have a problem with me showing my face. Some of you have a problem with me showing my hands. Y'all, some of y'all just need to just exit the building, okay? Because y'all is so negative and full of hate and anger and evil towards people that you don't even know. And because of that hurt and that hate that you have in your heart towards people that you don't even know it's making you not receiving your blessing it's making you not focus on yourself it's making you focus on other people that is doing way better than you are it's making you not tapping into your situation and why you're seeking for clarity and and, and closure for your situation but some of you are so blinded by your own stupidity you tend to not even realize that you have a situation Focus on why you even came and tried to tap into a reader to get some kind of a clarity, right? You could fool any amount of people that you want to fool, but you cannot fool me, right? If you go to a reader, it doesn't matter what reader you go to, whether they want to show their faces, all right? Whether they want to show their faces like I am right now, 
or what do they want to do with their hands or what do they want to do a reading under a bridge or what do they want to do a reading under the cellar or what do they choose to do a reading by the seashore by the river in the basement of their home laying in bed whatever or however they choose to do a reader decides to do a reading to bring a blessing towards you that is how that reader feels the energy at that particular moment okay now it's up to you to receive the blessing or not for some of you it may resonate so for some of you it does not and the reason why it's not resonating is because you're going here there here there and heavy we're trying to get a damn message and it's fucking up your whole entire ability to focus and to focus on yourself for some of you need a personal reading but because you're not focused on you and your and what's going in your life what's going on in your life you don't even have the or listen 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 and i'm going to say this one time I, I think i've said it before but i want to say it again and this time i'm going to say it in my jamaican dialogue right don't waste the time come for me don't waste the time commenting negativity in the comment section use that energy to find positivity right no, we're wasting our time come for me because we're not wasting our energy, we're not wasting our strength, we're not wasting our goals, we're not wasting our time, we're not wasting everything. Use that energy to manifest happiness towards you. Know? Okay? Don't waste the time coming for a goddess. Don't waste the time coming for a blessed goddess. Don't waste the time coming for a heavenly goddess who is bringing, trying to bring some clarity to, the, to someone who really needs that clarity. Now, if you feel like you have your life in order, you shouldn't be here. Leave that space for someone that needs to hear the message. You waste my time, you waste your time, and you waste everybody else's time that is here. Okay? Don't come here trying to spread negativity. If you don't like the way that I read, leave. If you don't want to hear the fire thing going beep, beep, beep in the background, leave. If you don't want me to lay down and do a reading, leave. If you don't want me to show my face, exit the premises. And if you don't want to see me on bones like a ball, okay? I have a dog, and the dog makes um, a lot of noise, especially if I'm not giving him attention that he needs. He will make sound. I have to cut all the time to make sure that my fur baby is okay. For some of you, you have a problem with the dog. You have a problem with the dog. How can you have a problem with an animal? Is that going to stop you from receiving your message? Are you paying me for that message? For some of you need a personal reading, but because you're so negative, you can't even find a dollar to have a personal reading. And then you try to attack me, who's here to give you a message, whether it resonates or not. Stop it. Stop it. The way that I do my readings is not for everybody. All right? It is not for everybody, and it won't be resonating to everybody. No. You, all you have to do is simple. Just move out of the way. Keep it moving. Exit the building. And allow the people that wants to receive the blessing to receive the blessing. Whether everything that I said resonated or not, it was going to be up to that individual. But if you choose to come here to spread heat, you're barking up the wrong tree. Because I'm going to send it back. Honey baby, I will send back your heat. I will send your head right back to where you sit down. You hear me? Right back to where you sit. Watching me from the TV screen or your phone screen or your computer screen. I will send it back to you 10 times 100. So do not come here and spread negativity in the comment section. Because you are waste your time. You are waste your time. Now waste your time. Come and so come spread it. Yeah? Spread love. A love whistle over here. So if you're not coming here so with love, keep it pushing. Because men have no time to feed right period and if it if i don't want to turn off my comment section because me now go make because hate make me turn off my comment section never make it stay so that way we can return it back to you when you come here with hate we return the hate back to you 10 times fold you don't want that all right don't let me call out by name because if i call out by name it's, it's a problem so don't let me call out by name all right be nice in the comment section. If you can't be nice, just leave. Because believe me, I'm not losing a night's sleep. Believe me, I sleep good. I sleep good. When I burn my sage at night, I sleep very, very good. Okay? 
All right. Okay, y'all. Uh, let's get into this reading. And another thing, in my last reading, I was drinking milk, people. I was drinking milk from a cup. Okay? Drinking milk from a cup. And somebody assumed that I was drinking alcohol beverages. If I was drinking alcohol beverages, it, that's my business. But I was drinking milk. And for those of you that want to know, I'm, no, I'm having pineapple juice out of a cup, okay? Because when I do my readings, it takes energy and I get thirsty. If I don't drink juice, I drink water, okay? We don't need to stop it. We don't need to stop the foolishness. Stop the nonsense. Stop going from this really and being disrespectful in the comment section. And no wonder why they, some of the readers them turn off the, they turn off their comment section because of the negativity. It's not that they want to turn it off. They turn it off because of the negativity. That's why they turn it off. I'm not going to get into this anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and start my reading. And who wants to follow, follow. And who don't want to follow, don't follow. Just rude. Straight rude. If you don't like how I do my readings, leave. Just go. Go. Alright? Just leave. All right, y'all, let's get into this reading, right? I think I spent 11 minutes and 41 seconds wasting my energy on losers, okay? All right, y'all. Let's burn some sage up in here, okay? Let's burn some sage up in this bad boy here. Before I go any further, we go and burn some sage, all right? And we're going to say a prayer. We're going to say a prayer because it's needed. So I think this one went out, y'all. Hold on. I think I'll probably cut this video, make it short, and do a separate reading. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to be burn the sage. Let me burn the energy first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get into the reading. All right? So this is a two part. This is part one of two. Because I had to get that out. All right. Oh, my Heavenly Father. Um, as I come before you today, Father, we're just asking you for guidance. We're just asking you for strength. We're just asking you to remove... All negativity, seen negativity and unseen negativity. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you give me the power. We ask that you continue to bless me with the right words. I ask that you continue to send me the most powerful angels to take charge over the situation. I ask that you give me clarity for the people that need to hear clarity and want clarity. I ask that you remove any judgmental forces or evil or demons away from this path. I ask that you shine your light of clarity and salvation into this reading today, Father God. Bless my home. Unseen demons and seen one as well. Bless my hands. Bless my mouth when I speak. My mental frame of mind. My eyes to see clearly. My ears to hear negativity. And to push away positivity that is not supposed to be in this circle. Only clarity we ask for. See the unseen dangers in the name of Jesus. I ask you to remove it. It is God that command, commands it. The spirit of the almighty God. My legs and my feet. My innermost soul, my body. I give to you, Lord, to cleanse. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Pray. Prayer for healing. That is watch, who's watching near and far go into all situations heavenly father we command you right now to go all the way down to the depths and clear and sanctify each and every soul mind soul and body in jesus name we pray amen all right y'all this is a part one let me get into part two i'll see you in the next one